What's up you guys, Jason Wardrop here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Facebook advertising split testing. Now, somebody asked on one of my previous videos, they asked about, hey, will you cover split testing? So, I figured I'd kinda of cover this in today's video. Now, if you're like, Jason, what the heck is split testing? Like, what does that even mean? Basically, what it is, is testing out two different variables in your marketing campaign, okay? So, that could be um, your whether you're using a landing page versus a lead form, that could be on your ad, you're using an image versus another image, or maybe an image versus a video, or maybe you've got some copy on one ad versus another copy, like, you're just trying to test out two different things and see which one is gonna convert better for you, all right? Now, the key thing that I would highly stress if you're going through, and especially if you're brand new to split testing, is only test one variable at a time. Now, what does that mean? So, if you're going through and you're testing out which landing page looks better or works better, okay, only test out, change out maybe just the headline, okay? And then maybe in another test, you just change out the, the call to action button, like what it actually says when they click the call to action button. Then another time you could test out maybe the button color or, or something else, but you don't wanna test out too many variables at one time because if you test out, let's say, on one page you've got the headline and you've got kinda of like your standard headline, standard call to action, standard like bullet points and everything, but then you change everything on the next page, you don't necessarily know, like you don't have like that, that go-to of that standard base of what you know works versus why something else works better or not. Okay, so you wanna go through and you wanna have your standard core, like okay, this is what I'm gonna be working off of, and then I'm gonna change the headline, see which headline works better, okay? This one works better, so I'm gonna go switch it in here and change that out to my standard, and then um, I'm gonna test out the call to action button, see which one works better. Okay, this second one, it didn't work that well, so I'm just gonna keep with my standard, and so that's how you wanna go through and do things. So, there's a lot of different softwares you can go through and use, as far as the landing page split testing, but this video we're gonna talk more about Facebook advertising split testing. I'm gonna show you guys how they've made it a lot simpler in the last couple of months to go through and split test. So some different things that we can split test is our campaign objective, okay, whether we're using link clicks or website conversions, um, we could test off audiences, so one audience versus another audience and see which one really converts better. We can test different ads, like different ad creative, so if we want to see, okay, does this image work better than the other image? Or, you know, like, does this creative versus this other creative? Or this, this image versus a video? So we can go through and test out a lot of these different things. So I just want to show you guys really quick how to set this all up inside of the Facebook's Ads Manager and kind of some of these new updated things here. So if we come over here to this green Create button, we'll go through Create a New Campaign. And for this one, let's just keep it basic and easy. We're just gonna say the traffic campaign, okay? So we wanna send people to your blog, to your landing page, website, whatever it might be, okay? Now look at this. This is fairly new. This is in the last couple months they've added this, but it says create a split test. So it's A-B test your creative, okay? So that's the actual ad. The placement, so is it gonna show up in the news feed, the right-hand column, is it gonna show up on Instagram or in stories, or where is it gonna actually be shown? The audience. So are you gonna show it to people in Texas or California or Florida, or it could be based off their interests or age groups or a lot of those other things, or also delivery optimization. Okay, so that could be like clicks on the ad versus landing page views. And so we're, we're gonna like go through and cover a lot of this stuff. So all we do is just click this on, and we're just gonna say traffic, and we'll just name this the demo. Okay, so now we're gonna hit continue. This is gonna take us to the ad set level. We're actually gonna dive through and um, hit a lot of these different things. So this is gonna kind of cover some of the different split testing strategies and things that you can um, kind of learn and, and discover here. So it says, you know, okay, you can go through and you know target different audiences. It'll just have a little walkthrough. We're not gonna hit this right now because kind of already know what, what's saying right there. But down here, this is where we're gonna choose. Okay, it says variable. What do you want to test? Now, guys, Facebook, they, they've made this so easy and they keep making things easier and easier. At least, in my opinion, they kind of like walk you through step by step. So you come through and you say, okay, uh, what do you want to test? Like just really quick hitting this here, it says no audience overlap. Your potential reach will be randomized and split amongst ad sets to ensure an accurate test. Okay, because they're gonna take a random portion of people over here, random portion of people over here. They kind of are similar in match, but it's not like overlapping. And so you're gonna get the best data possible, right? So we're gonna come over here, what do you wanna test? So creative, as we talked about before, this is your actual ad. Is it the image, are you using a video? Um, like are you using a carousel ad? Are you using, what text are you using? 
Delivery optimization, that's more of like, okay, are you you know going for link clicks? So if they click on the ad or landing page views, okay? So link clicks, it could be somebody that clicks on the ad and then let's say they've got bad cell service or just on their phone or something like that or the Wi-Fi is bad and it takes forever to load the page and so they like exit out of the page before they actually even go through and see what the page is. That counts as a link click. Whereas landing page views is somebody that is actually going to view the page. That means a page loaded and they've actually seen your website. Okay, so audience right here, we kind of talked about that and then placement. So for this example, let's just say, we'll, we'll say we'll say placement for this one, okay? And this works for all these different ones. So we come down here, placement variable number one. Okay, so we could say, hey, automatic placements, which automatic placements for Facebook, what they want to do is they want to be able to show your ad on every location possible, right? Because really what's happening with so many more people jumping on Facebook is that newsfeed, um, like the amount of people that are trying to go market on the newsfeed, it's going up. And so, you know, it's supply and demand, right? There's only so much space on that newsfeed, so many users. And so it gets filled up. So they want you to advertise on Instagram, on the right hand column on the marketplace, on all these different locations. So maybe for this one, we'll say ad set A, we're just gonna leave it automatic placements, and ad set B, we're gonna actually test out something else. We're gonna come down here, we're just going to do news feeds right here, the Facebook news feeds, all right? So we're gonna test out everything versus just the news feeds, and then we can even add another test in here. So like maybe we wanna go through and test the Instagram news feed, versus the Facebook newsfeed versus everywhere. So all we're gonna do is just click on test another ad set right here. We come down here and instead of doing Facebook, we'll just click on Instagram. So we'll uncheck the stories and we'll say the Instagram newsfeed. So now we've got, we're gonna me measure out the Instagram newsfeed versus the Facebook newsfeed versus on all placements, right? And so you can come over here and see like where our budget is gonna be going, okay? 33% of the budget is gonna to go towards ad set A, 33% towards ad set B and 33% towards ad set C. Then we come down here and we're just choosing our audience. Okay, now the same thing works, guys. If we were to come back over here and test out, instead of placements, we want to test out audience, right? We're going to go through and we've got, okay, audience A, who do you want to do? Maybe we want to do a custom saved audience like um, Dallas, Texas fitness, right? Versus um, ad set B, we want to do um, maybe real estate, okay? So, and obviously you wanna probably split test those because they're not really related, but you, you can see how you can easily go through and choose these different audiences where Facebook, the nice thing is, they'll, they'll give a specific amount of the budget to each one of these different audiences. Because, so back in the day, guys, how this all worked is if you created an ad set and you would go through and you have like three ads in the ad set, okay? Facebook in the like first 24 hours, they would kind of just pick whatever ad was performing the best and they would just run with it. Okay, so you didn't even know if like maybe one of the two other ones actually performed better than the one they picked, but they just didn't really give you enough to run with. So what I did back in the day is I would only have one ad per ad set. So if we're coming over here choosing more creative right here, okay, I would just have one ad per ad set, but now it's nice because they split it evenly. Because then after you, you can go through and you're, you're running your split test, you're seeing which one actually works better, um, you're able to get a lot better idea of which one works the best and why it worked the best and then go through and improve your advertising from there. Now, the reason why guys, at the end of the day, we're doing all the split testing is to lower our cost per lead, lower our cost per click or cost per engagement or cost per sale or conversion, whatever it is that we're going for. All right, so um, the creative, same thing. If you're doing this, we're gonna be actually hitting this later in the ad section, all right? So you go through, you create your normal audience, okay? You set like, okay, where do you want to be placed and all this different stuff. And then you can say, you know, do you want link clicks, landing page views, what do you want? And then you would go and set a budget. We hit continue. And this is actually where we would set up the split test, okay? So add name A, okay? So add A right here. We can even run it from different Facebook pages, right? So like we wanted one from your personal brand versus one from your company's brand. And then we could say, hey, maybe this one we wanna do a, a, an image, whereas down here, or we gotta go over here to add B, okay? We would maybe wanna try out a video. Okay, so then we can kinda of see like which one works better, which one gets us the best um, bang for our buck because it's all obviously all about return on our ad spend. So 
Some people will go and spell that out ROAS, return on ad spend. So ROI, return on investment, right? And so that's kind of the key goal of why I want to go through and set all this up. Okay, so anyway, guys, if you have any other questions, um, drop down in a comment below. If you guys found this video helpful, it's pretty self-explanatory from here as far as going through and setting up your ad. Like if you want to go through and choose an Instagram account, okay, this is the one I have in, um, integrated in here. You upload a video, you go through, throw in a URL to your website, some text, all that stuff. But keep in mind, guys, only change out one thing. So if on ad B you're doing a video versus ad A you're doing um, an image, you want to make sure that this text is all exactly the same. Okay, you want to make sure your call to action both says learn more. You want to make sure that is all exactly the same as well. You want to make sure it's setting to the same exact landing page because you really want to get a good idea of is it the ad that we're testing out right here or maybe you found an ad that works really well and so you want to test out the landing page. Like is it the headline of the landing page, the call to action, the colors, the images, like the background, like what is it that really we want to go through and test. Okay, now in my personal experience, the simpler the landing page is the better, just like plain back, background of white, um, very clear text, uh, just a very simple page that loads quick and I'll get you the right information. Um, that's what I've seen that has worked best. So anyway guys, and also if you guys want my um, Facebook ads mini course, I'm going to add a link down in the description as well to that Facebook ads mini course. It'll walk you through the Facebook ads manager, how to set up the Facebook pixels, um, obviously, you got this video right here which helps you with split testing But it'll give you a whole rundown of how to set up these ads like the pros cons of doing different things and just kind of give you a little behind the scenes look of my business of what I do and um, Anyway, so hopefully that's helpful If you guys found this video helpful go ahead and give it a thumbs up I would greatly appreciate that also drop a comment down below Let me know what you think and if you guys are brand here brand new here Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we try to launch new videos every single week and help you generate more leads Make more money and grow your business So make sure you guys subscribe and with that said guys. I will see you all in the next video